Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.13 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V0 and I0 in the circuit of figure 5.52. Okay, V0 is here and I0 is here. Okay, what can we do from here? Okay, maybe let's take a note first because we are using an assuming this is an ideal of M. So we'll have ideal of m here let's redraw it if we have an of m like this okay this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal and this is terminal a and this is terminal b okay we will have the first property of an ideal of m which is the voltage in those two terminal is the same so va is equal to vb and the second properties is the current that goes into the op m let's name this i b and i a is about zero so i a is equal to i b and then that will equal to zero okay and now okay if we have ic here okay for example i0 here it is not the sum of i a and i b so that is not a zero so ic is not i a plus i b so ic is not zero here okay and now let's see our circuit here so first we will have this as our ground so the voltage here will be zero okay now let's use this one here as not a maybe let's name this as va and then this is v0 from the ground right v0 and let's assume the direction of the current maybe let's assume this is going here and this is going here and this is goes into the op m because we know exactly if the current goes into the op m this one will be zero right and then another things we need to consider is this node here let's name this node as vb okay and let's assume the direction of the current so first here and maybe this goes here and this maybe goes there okay uh i think the first thing that we can do is calculate this vb here so let's do kcl at node vb kcl at node vb Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, so this is one fold from the ground. So here we will have one here. And the only current that goes in is this one. And that current is just one minus VB divided by 10. All the other currents is going out. This one is goes into the op m so that will be zero and then this one that will be vb minus this node here is the ground so i will have zero here divided by the resistance between them so i will have 90 and i think we can solve for vb from here right let's multiply both sides by 90 and we will have this one that will be 10 and 90 will cancel into 9 so i will have 9 here and then minus this one will be 9 pb right okay and then 0 plus this is just this one and pb over 90 divided by 90 is multiplied by 90 is just pb right because 90 will cancel each other so i will have vb here okay so we will have 10 vb 10 vb is equal to 9 and so we will have vb is equal to 
9 divided by 10, or that will be 0 0.94. Okay, that will be our Pb. But that means that Pa here, because it is the the other terminal of the op M, remember that Pa is equal Vb, but we know that Vb is 0 0.9 volt, so we will know Va. What is Va? Va is just Vb, right? And that will be 0 0.9. That is Va, and now we can do another KCL, but this time at Va. So I will have KCL at node Va. Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There is no current that goes into Va, all the current will go out so i will have a zero here right and now what else that we can do is just this one here the current that goes into the op m that will be zero and then this current that goes down that will be pa minus zero divided by 50. Okay, and then the current that goes into the right side here, we will have Pa minus P0 divided by 100. Okay, good. Now let's plug in that Pa is 0 0.9. So I will have 0 on the left hand side and 0 0.9 minus 0, that will be 0 0.9. And I will have this divided by 50 and then plus this one will be 0 0.9 minus P0 divided by 100. Okay, I think we will have full, full slide here. Maybe let's erase this part first. Okay, let us me erase that part. Okay, here we can multiply both sides by 100. Okay, on the left hand side we still have 0 and 50 multiplied by 100 is 2 and 2 multiplied by 0 0.9 is 1.8 and then we will have plus that will be 0 0.9 minus V0 right let's move this minus V0 to the left hand side so I will have V0 and that will be the answer right 1.8 plus 0 0.9 that will be 2.7 wow okay and i think this is one of the answer that is asked by the problem so let's highlight this and now we still need to find out i0 okay what can we do here we can do another KCL but this time at P0 KCL at P0 KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay I0 is going here and this is going into V0 let's assume that this is going outside of V0 okay now the current that goes in is this one. So I will have Pa minus P0 divided by 100. And plus the current I0 here is also goes into P0. So I will have I0 here, which, uh, which is the one that we are looking for. And then that will equal to P0 minus this is the ground so i will have zero divided by okay we know that pa is 0 0.9 right from previous answer so i will have 0 0.9 and then minus p0 and i will have 2.7 divided by 100 then we will have plus i0 
and then this one will be v0 which is 2.7 divided by right and so we will have i0 is equal to i think i just leave it into calculator so i will have minus 0 0.9 minus 2.7 divided by so we will have i0 is let's just solve it using calculator right because that will be complicated okay so we'll have 2.7 divided by 10 and then minus 0 0.9 minus 2.7 divided by 100 okay and that will be 0 0.288 0 0.288 and this is the unit of this one is volt and the resistance is kilo ohm so this will be in milliampere or that will be 288 micro ampere and i think that is the answer for i0 so i0 is 288 micro ampere so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation See you in the next video. Bye-bye.